Hey, this is Morgan from Seven Dust, and you're watching Pets Get Rocked. It's Terry Carr, and welcome to Pets Get Rocked Video Bites. This week, I talk music and mutts as I ride the tour bus with drummer Morgan Rose of one of rock's heaviest bands, Seven Dust. Morgan is a huge animal lover. We talk Seven Dust history, their new release, Kill the Flaw, his family connection with dogs, and his side passion, Morgan Rose, dog sitter. Pets Get Rocked welcomes Morgan Rose. How are you? I'm great. I'm it's great. so good to see you. So first of all, when we started Pets Get Rocked, there were like a couple of artists that came to mind. Slash is very involved with animals. We got him on. Um, the band In This Moment, love their chihuahuas. Oh, they yeah. tour with their chihuahuas. Yeah. We got them on. You were a guy I instantly thought of. You know why? We had a discussion at the studio. We did. Yeah. You and me talked to an extensive length about two things, Prince and Pitbulls. That's we right. just talked about animals. I want to start, though, with the record, Kill the Flaw, mm -hmm. monster record. Thank you. Thank so you. good, so good. It's everything we love about Seven Dust. It's melodic, it's super heavy, and the fans love you guys, because I always see comments on social media like, thank you guys for never selling out. You know, right. you never, <laughs> ever sold out. But I still think, that Seven Dust is one of rock's hardest working and most underappreciated bands. Do you guys ever feel that way? I mean, I don't want to say know, underrated, but underappreciated. I think that in the politics that goes on in it, it yep. gets a little bit weird. You know, we've never had uh, a major label. You know, we've we've had some big managers. You know, but you can end up being. I don't know how to explain this, but I guess you can end up being kind of caught in the traffic with mm -hmm. anybody. I mean, if you go to a company that has 12 monster bands in this genre and we're just one of those 12, we got to compete with all 12 of them. I mean, somebody's going to get the offer to do something. Uh, there were a few things that got us a little bent out of shape, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean... The one thing that always, because we don't really care about the accolades. I mean, we never cared about that. We have our little thing of the, the people that support the band that are so unbelievable. And it's way more than a little thing. And you guys are really one of Rock's best live bands. I mean, we've been doing a lot of, we've played a lot. You know, we know how to play with each other up there. You know, oh, sounds it's amazing. a little strange. First time I, I saw <laughs> you was Rolling Rock Town Fair yeah. uh, years ago. Yeah. And I remember just being like this. Yeah. You know, just that phenomenal. We like those that, that that atmosphere. You know, we like the small shows too. We like to get up. We always felt like we were a little bit of the underdog. You know, we went with you know we like I said we weren't with a major label and uh, major labels back in the day. You know, they spent a lot of money and our spent a good enough amount to keep us moving. But we would see you know the little things that happen like you know you walk into a best buy and all the bands that we play with are right on the end cap where you see them and then you go around the corner and we're stuffed in there somewhere yeah like right that. sure that's and what i mean people yeah. wonder how come you're not over there it's because the record label paid for them to be up there you know mm -hmm. and ours didn't pay as much you know so those kind of things but you know we're not complaining we're happy to be where <laughs> we're there's there's seven does so tell me a little bit about the new record we did it in Butler, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, it took about a month, and wow. we wrote it That's from it? scratch. Yeah. A month? We like wrote it, tracked oh. it. We'd write it, and we'd write something to spend the day, you know, putting it together. We'd say, is that cool? Okay, let's track it right now, and then we just track it right on the spot. And there's not a whole lot to do in Butler. There isn't. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot to get in trouble with. You right, know? right, so, exactly. Not a lot to get in trouble with. Does it feel for you guys like almost twenty? Like twenty? No, it doesn't. doesn't. No. no, which is cool that it doesn't. It's weird. I, I looked at some of the bands that, you know, that I liked back in the day and I was like I saw I won't name any names, but I, there was a band that was it was in the hair metal days, you know, and they were I heard the song on the radio and I saw the date next to it and it was 93. And I looked at it and I was driving and I was like this band was gone so fast. Yeah. I mean, they were big in 93. This is one of the biggest songs in 1993. And they were completely gone in 96. Yeah. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, their career lasted three, four years, yeah. you know. And we've had almost 20. Yeah. And some of the bands that I love the most, you know, that do five, six records, and we've got 11. You know, yeah, this is your 11th. Crazy. Crazy. So let's talk, let's talk animals. So I said to you when I saw you last time, oh, we just had some dogs here. And your whole face lit up. Yeah. And you were like, oh my God, what kind of dogs? Like, where were they? Are they coming back? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What is your connection to animals? Have you always been an animal lover? Did you always. have pets as a kid? Yeah. My uh, my grandparents, um, they were, they 
bred Afghans. Ooh. That's how just gorgeous, you know. And they had Shih Tzus and Afghans. Strange mix, you know. Yeah, in the right. House. Two little, you know, dogs running around, and then these, you know, the Farrah Fawcett of yeah, dogs. Yeah, that's what they look dogs. like. Yeah. So gorgeous animals, you know. So I was brought up like that. Uh, we always had, you know, dogs. It was more dogs than anything, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, went through some cats too. We had some cats that running around the house, but it was predominantly dogs. And uh, you know, I had bulldogs, and I had a pug, and you know, now my my girl is a dog walker, and we also watch the dogs. Oh so wow! So you kind of almost have like a little bit of a dog a it, business going it's, on. It is totally a dog business, and it's the thing about it is we don't own a dog, and. You know, sometimes I'm like, you know, that's crazy that I don't, we don't own a dog, you know, but then I think I'm like, we have dogs here every day. Yeah. Like, and they're, it's like, we're the, we're the aunts and uncles. You yeah, know? Like right. We watch right. everybody's kids. So we get new dogs all the time, but she's, uh, you know, and they, I'm brutal with them. I mean, I want them to sleep with me and I whisper the hell out of them right away. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I'm all about the dogs and she has to go and walk other dogs so a lot of times you know i'll spend a lot of time with these dogs while she's out i wonder if the dogs know that they're hanging out with like morgan from seven to see that's the beauty of a dog though they don't know that stuff so they don't really care if the next record you make is not the record you wanted to make they don't care and i think that's the beauty of the whole thing I, i mean i've said it so many times that i love animals more than humans you know i mean they're just they're unconditional love you know i mean they're really simple um you know we watch some stuff that's that we don't need to be watching you Mm -hmm. know online and it makes me crazy you know i'm you know i've we've you know done our charitable work and uh you know but our big thing is we just they affect our lives so much i mean we just my father he's the pit bull you know, he's, he's yeah, we pit talked about lover. pit bulls and how, yeah. um, you know, the breed has really been punished, you know. Yeah. And uh, I remember us having that conversation. And he had uh, his dog for years. And uh, when he passed away, it was like lights out, you know. I mean, it was it was hardcore. So he has a new one now. He has a new pit that's, uh, it's uh, he might be two now. But now he's taken over, you know. But, you know, like... Sheila wants to get a Great Dane. We love Great Danes. And I don't know if I can have it. I don't know if I can do it because their their lifespan is so short. That's true. That the larger breeds can sometimes be only that. seven years. Yeah. she's It's a faster heartache, yeah, unfortunately. I'm not into that. You know, yeah. I don't know if I can handle that. So yeah. she's really wanting to get one. And I wanted to get one, and then I'm like, uh, you know, there's not enough room around here for him. But then we'll I love it though. After Seven Dust, it's going to be Morgan Rose's doggy daycare. Oh yeah, that's be, totally I what I love picture. It. I love it. Yeah. Oh, that I gotta, would be I'll come by and dream. clean some cages for you guys. Be amazing. It's always great to see you. Feelings are mutual. It's always awesome. Um, I appreciate you taking time. Absolutely. Congratulations on an amazing new record. Thank and you. of course, uh, Morgan Rose Doggy Daycare coming soon. That's right. Would. And uh, next time you're in Jersey, you and me will go out to the animal shelter. We'll do some visiting, little little pit bull uh, rehabilitation, make ourselves love feel it. really good. I love it. Good. Morgan, 100%. thank you so much. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you.